title of this mini podcast is Unhappiness. Here's one of life's verifiable lessons. If you wage war against unhappiness, you'll lose every battle. The problem starts when we make a declaration of war. We'd be healthier and more productive if we learned to peacefully coexist with unhappiness instead, because it's like dog poop. It's everywhere, and it will always be around. Reminds me of a story. When I was in my 40s, I took training in the martial art of Aikido. After being instructed in the basic movements like holds and falls, the most counterintuitive thing I had to learn was step into an attack. Every natural instinct seems to want us to move back and away from our attacker. The objective of Aikido is to move in smaller circles than your attacker. When you enter their larger circle with a smaller one, you control where the action flows. It's a simple principle to understand, but harder to put into action due to our conditioning. Our conditioning is to fight with unhappiness, and we have plenty of help. Our entire advertising culture preys upon our conditioning that there's something wrong with being unhappy, and it offers us a quick fix. The medical and psychological communities follow suit with prescriptions and remedies that chase away the blues. Unhappy doesn't feel good, and who in their right mind wants it to hang around? We'd be better served as human beings to let unhappiness have a timeshare unit within us. When it visits, and it will, Treat it with respect and spend some time with it. It's a powerful emotion that can be a driving force to lead us to what's next. But you have to let it take its seat and sit with it in order to benefit by the energy it brings. If you fight it, you're negating its energy field and you'll never get the upside from the downside. That's because you're taking sides and making unhappiness be your enemy. Unhappiness is relentless, and it will keep battering the castle door until it gets in. Fighting with unhappiness is more destructive and painful than letting it in. You make unhappiness an enemy by resisting it. Make Unhappiness Your Friend is a book title that probably wouldn't sell and a practice that wouldn't catch on. But making unhappiness an acquaintance delivers benefits. When you accept the unhappiness within you, you give it permission to take up space in your body where it'll eventually tire itself out and take its leave. If you keep resisting it in your mind, it'll tire you out with countless weary battles. There is something on the other side of unhappiness, but you won't get there unless you allow it to naturally move through you. Just an acknowledgement of its existence is helpful. Simply saying, I have unhappiness within me, is often enough to light the way towards its exit. If you're unhappy all the time, please seek some counseling. But if you're the kind that believes you need to be happy all the time, you need to spend some time with your unhappiness. Like the martial art of Aikido, acknowledging unhappiness is counterintuitive and highly effective. It takes practice, and the rewards of peace you'll receive outweigh the spoils of war. All the best. John.